Hi, in this video, we'll see some worksheet related options in Tableau. If you are familiar with Microsoft Excel, then we have the sheets. We can cut, copy, paste, rename, delete, duplicate, and you can just export. These are some options which you can do same in the Tableau part. So you can copy, rename, delete, duplicate, export. You can do multiple things. So let us see those one by one. Uh, below this video, you can download this file. The name of the file is workbook or worksheet options. And I'm working in the same database, Global Superstore 2017. Now, uh, what are the options related to this worksheet? We'll see entirely in this worksheet menu bar. Like how do we create, export, how do we clear and different things. So for that, first of all, I need to just create some bar chart or any data in my pane itself. So first of all, I'll just double click on this sales and then I'll just double click on this subcategory and I'll get this column chart itself. I'll try to tilt it. I'll just make it as a uh, swap and I'll make it as in the descending order. So this is the order that's a, a horizontal bar chart which I've got in. Now let's see how do I create different things with worksheet options. When I right click on this sheet one, and you see there's a new worksheet which is given here. I'll be creating a blank new worksheet here. I can create a dashboard, I can create a new story. So first of all, if I click on this new worksheet, this is one method. And if you see, there's a new sheet which is created. Same way, if I go to this worksheet menu bar and I have this option that is new worksheet or else you can press Ctrl M from a keyboard. So I'll press Ctrl M from a keyboard and a new sheet would be created. Like this Ctrl M and a new sheet should be created at this place. So if you see there's a sheet three which is created same way there are a few more options if i right click on this place and if you see there's a copy paste rename delete so if i just click on this copy the sheet would be copied and again if i right click on this place let's say if i right click on this place sheet three and if i say as paste so if you observe there's one more sheet which is created a sheet is duplicated so if you see from sheet one it has created as sheet one bracket two so that is the another duplicate of that Again, if I right click on this place, I can copy, paste, rename, delete. So if I click on rename, you can just give some name as category wise sales or I can write as subcategory wise sales, subcategory wise sales, whatever is your sheet name by default, it will be your title name. If you want to modify your title name, you can just double click and modify that. So let's see next one. If I right click on this place, I have the option as duplicate. Uh, duplicate is the same thing a duplicate of this sheet would be created if I click on this duplicate and if you see subcategory wise sales and uh, there's one more duplicate sheet that is sheet 6 which is created if you see that's the same sheet the name of the sheet would be the extended version whatever sheets you have it will be plus one so sheet 6 which is given here same way if you right click on this place you have duplicate as cross tab what is cross tab as this is represented in the form of graphical manner so the data which you'll be getting, it will be duplicated, but into a textual manner. So if I click on duplicate as cross tab, the data which is subcategory and sales, if I click on duplicate as cross tab, you see that is the textual manner which I've got subcategory and these are the sales which I've got. So whenever you want the data into a textual format, you remember this right click on the sheet and you can select this option as duplicate as cross tab, which is very simple here. Same way, if you want to export this workbook somewhere else, you can just click on this workbook export and you can see the file name would be subcategory wise sales and the tableau workbook dot that is star TWE that is the tableau workbook which will be saved here. What is the name? Why the name has given? Because I'm exporting this particular sheet, the, the file name will be the sheet name itself. So you see subcategory wise sales that will be the workbook name itself and you can select the location and you can click on save button. So I'll just click on this cross sign. Now, so this was one option, right click on this place again, if you see there's one more option we can, which I can show you here. Yeah, so it says copy formatting. If you want to copy formatting and you want to paste somewhere else, let's see now. First of all, I'll just show you where I'll be pasting that data. I'll be copying the formatting from this sheet and I'll be pasting in this sheet six. So first of all, I'll show you sheet six and sheet that is subcategory by sales, both are same. How do I format anything in my sheet? So if you want to format, you have to go to this format menu bar, click on this, uh, click on this font itself. If you see that's a font and that's nothing but format font background and everything. So what I'll do is I'll just change the background color. First of all, click on this background color shading and select some worksheet color. I'll select this color at the back end and I'll select some light color at this place. Yeah, some light color here. 
So there's the formatting which is done. I'll click on this close button here. Now I just want to simply copy the formatting from this sheet and I want to paste into some other sheet. So right click on your sheet and then select as copy formatting. Go to your sheet six, which is blank right now. There's no formatting. Right click on this place and you can say as paste formatting. And if you see the background has been formatted according to that particular sheet. So that has been copied here. Again, you can right click on this place and if you see there's a color, you can give a color to your particular sheet. So I'll just select this color and I'll select this blue color. So if you see there's an underline given here, the sheet has been colored as blue. Same way, if you want, you can change the color of this particular sheet. Select color and you can just select this any color here. So the underline will be given as a color to that particular sheet cell. Now, suppose if you want the same options in the menu bar, you can see there's the options given as you can copy, you can export, clear and there are a few more options. So if I select this copy option, you can copy the data. If you want, you can just copy the image. So I'll just select this, not this image. So I want to copy this image. So I'll, I want to copy this image because I'm going for some presentation. I want to copy this data and I want to paste into PowerPoint. So select this worksheet, select this copy, click on this image and the image would be copied. It will help you. What do you want to copy? Do you want to copy title, view, caption? What things do you want to copy? So I'll say I don't want view, I don't want title, I yeah, I just want this options here. That is a view part and I'll select this copy. Where do you will be pasting it? This will be copied to your clipboard. Either you can paste in Excel, Word, PowerPoint, anywhere. So I'll be pasting in the PowerPoint part. So I'll just open a PowerPoint which is already given here and I'll simply click on this paste button here. So I'll select this paste and if you see the PowerPoint, the copied slide has been pasted here, the data. Now if you want, you can just go for a presentation, press slideshow and you can see as from beginning. So it is, this is how the presentation would look like when you copy the image part. So that's it. You can do this this way. Now I'll go back to the other place. Yeah. Now I'll just go to this worksheet, copy. So copying the image. Now if you want to copy the data, not the image, you select this option as copy that is data, select this option and then I'll just go to this Excel sheet because I want to paste this in the Excel. Select this Excel, go to the home tab, click on paste. So you see the data has been pasted at this place. So I'll just maximize this or this place. You, you can see this one, the data has been pasted here. Now sometimes if I go back here in this place, in the tab view back again. Now you, you remember what was the cross tab. If you right click on this place and if you select as duplicate as cross tab, you'll be getting a data, this kind of data here. Okay. This is very simple here because subcategory and sales are given. So if I select the simplest sheet one and I'll clear the formatting first because it is select this. Yeah. So I'll select the format menu bar and I'll select the font and then I'll click on this clear button. Yeah. So the formatting goes away. Now what I'll do is I'll duplicate this sheet as cross tab. So I'll select this right click on this place and select as duplicate as cross tab. So if you see the data has been copied, this is very simple data. But if I go to the same sheet, that is sheet eight. Yeah, sheet six one. And that is what I'll do is I'll just pick up the category and I'll drop into this colors part itself. So now I have three things that is sum of sales, subcategory and the category part. Now, if I duplicate this as a cross tab, right click on this place. And if I say as duplicate as cross tab, so if you observe, I'm getting different table here, which says these are the category, these three things, and that's a subcategory. So if I want to export same thing into some Excel, fi Excel file itself, select this sheet six, go to this worksheet, click on export, and you can see as cross tab to Excel, cross tab to Excel, an Excel file will be created at the back end. And if I want to show you that Excel file, if you see here, this will be the Excel file where the cross tab data would be created here. So I'll select everything and make it as black color font. So it's easy to find out. Yeah. So that is the Excel file which should be created as a cross tab itself. So it's very easy. If you want to export the data, whatever you have created a chart itself, very, very simple and easy. So it makes your work very much easier. So again, if I go to this worksheet, if you want to clear something, let's say if I select this clear sheet, clear sorting, clear formatting. So these are the different options you can select from this place, right? Now, if I keep my cursor at this place, let's say any bar, if I select, I'm getting this category, subcategory and sales. These are nothing but tooltip. So the information is given on this tooltip part itself. If I select this place, category, subcategory and sales. So if you want to add something to your category, that is the, sorry, the tooltip itself, you can just select this option as worksheet, select this as tooltip. And here below you can write as this is a tooltip tooltip itself and you can just click on okay 
So what will happen is the data which will be added, that is a tooltip. If you see, that's a tooltip which is given here. So it's very simple here. In the worksheet, you can select this option as tooltip. This, this will be an information, added information. Same option like duplicate as cross tab. What we have seen at the bottom is the same place here. And the actions part, you will be getting a separate video all about the actions. You can learn from that actions video itself. Now describe as a worksheet. If I say describe the worksheet, whatever things you have done in the worksheet, everything will be in the textual manner. So if I click on this describe worksheet, this is a description of sheet number six. If you see that's the sheet number six, sum of sales for each subcategory color shows detail about the category because this is the color in the category and sum of sales for each subcategory, which is given here. So entire detail information will be given. So it says marks. The stack mark is on, which is given automatic. This is the stack mark, which is automatic. In the shelf, there are three shelf, column, rows and the marks card. So in the column shelf, I have sum of sales. If you see that's a column shelf, I have sum of sales. In the color, I have the category. That's the category in the color. In the row shelf, I have the subcategory. If you see that's a subcategory in the rows part. So details are given. Dimension, it will give you the information. Category has three members on this sheet. So if you observe here, that is a category which says three categories, the furniture, office sales and technology, these are given here. So if you keep on scrolling down, this information will be given entirely about the sheet. What is the data source name? That is Global Superstore 2017. The sheet name which you are taking up, the table name is orders here. What you can do is, if you want to pass this information to somebody else, you can just select this as copy and then you can go to any Excel file, any PowerPoint or Word document and there you can simply select as paste like this. So the detail would be given. So I'll just double click on this place. Yeah. So the detail would be given and you can see those information at one place. So this is nothing but as known as describe sheet. Yeah. So this is known as worksheet and there's nothing as describe sheet or you can simply press control E. So whenever you get a tablet workbook from somebody else, you can easily identify what is given here. Now there are some options where you can show and hide. Suppose these are options. Let's say show title. This one is the title. If I select the title will go away. So if I go to this worksheet and if I say show caption, this is the caption you'll be getting it. So for showing and hiding, you have to go to this worksheet menu bar. And if you say show summary on the right hand side, if you see, you'll be getting a summary, which will say as count, sum, average, minimum, maximum, and all the details about the sum of sales will be given the, about the sales part. So the summary will be given on the right hand side. Same way, if I go to this worksheet and if I say show cards, what are different cards? This one is column, this one is row card. If you see there's a column and row shelf, column shelf, row shelf are given, page and filter. So if I, if I want to remove this column shelf, I'll select this option. Now the column shelf has been gone away. So same way, filter shelf, page shelf, mark shelf, go to this worksheet, go to this show cards. These are the different options available. If you say reset cards, the entire window will be to the you know normal process that is reset cards and you'll be getting at everything at this place. Same way, if I go to this worksheets and if I say show view toolbar, so what exactly is a view toolbar here? So if I click on this uh, show on hover like this, and if I click somewhere outside, this is nothing but a view toolbar. So you can observe this option here. If I click on this place, still I'm getting it. Now if I say worksheet and if I say as show view toolbar, hide. So this toolbar will not be visible now. If you see the toolbar has been hidden. Though that toolbar can be used when you go for the map specially. Again, if I go to this workbook worksheet, click on this show view toolbar and if I select automatic, that means whenever it is required and only that time you'll be getting the option itself. So I hope you have understood all the options related to worksheet like cut, copy, paste, export and show and hide the different things. That's all for this video.